All right, so we're going to do a couple of versions of the roof um, and the walls that are on this building on the R house. So um, I just want to show you what the final result is, and we'll, um, we'll get to that eventually. Um, but we're going to start simple and work our way up. All right, let's minimize that. Right now we've sort of had the orthogonal version of the house. And I'm going to go into my east elevation to sort of start this process. And I'm going to re-import um, the line drawing I gave you guys for the elevation. So I'm going to go to Insert, Link CAD. I'm going to pick the elevation one and click Open with Current View Only. So now I've got that file in here. You guys should reload um, from the file that I provided you up on Canvas. Because the one I gave you is slightly off. You could probably fix it, but it's a bit of a pain. So, <clears throat> And I want to apologize. I have allergies, so my voice is registering a little low. So right now I can see the outline of the way that I want the wall to be. And the wall is there in, uh, in an orthogonal version. So I'm just going to pick the wall that I want to change. And there's an Edit Profile. And when you go to Edit Profile and you're in Elevation, it will show you that magenta outline and then you can go to pick lines and you can use the CAD drawing to pick the lines that you want the profile to become. So I'm hovering over one of the lines and I'm going to tap the tab key and it's going to pick all the lines and I'm going to left click and it's going to get upset because I have a double line down at the bottom and it doesn't, doesn't like that. It's telling me that they overlap. I'm like, all right, I'll fix it. I'm going to go up here to the modify to stop. I'm still in the pick line command. So if I come down here and try and pick it and delete it, I'll just make more lines, which I do sometimes. So I'm going to go to modify first, select the double line and just delete that one. So now I only have one line there. Then I'm just going to delete that and delete that because it wants one closed loop. And then I hit check. It makes that wall. And if I go to my 3D view, Check it out. There it is. Now I can really, I could do the same thing for this wall. Um, but what I'm going to do for right now is I'm going to make an actually a symmetrical version of this. So we can put a roof, one type of roof on it. So I'm going to go in and pick the wall that's still orthogonal and just delete it. Then I'm going to pick the wall I just made and I'm going to mirror it around this center. Oops. Not get the center. So if I pick that and I mirror it around that guy. There we go. I must have missed the pick the first time. Now I go to the 3D view. And what I have are two walls that are symmetrical. And I know this isn't the way that the house is, but we're going to use this for an example real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this roof that I have there. It's just going to make these walls shoot way up into the air, which we're just going to leave there for a minute. Now, if I wanted to have a roof that went between these two symmetrically offset walls, it's not too difficult. Um, if I wanted it to curve, I would use a command called um, roof by extrusion. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to architecture, and I'm going to go to roof, and in the pull down is roof by extrusion. So I'm going to pick roof by extrusion, and it's going to ask me to pick a plane to work on. So it's asking me for a work plane because I'm in a 3D view and it doesn't really know where to work. So I'm going to pick a plane. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to pick the face of that wall. So I'm going to left click and it's going to say, fine, you're going to make a roof. We've got a plane. What level do you want the roof to be on? And I'm going to pick level roof. And I'll click OK. And it sends me into my sketch mode and I can actually go to my pick lines again. And I can come over here and hover over the top, and it'll place a line on that plane that I set, which is the face of that wall, right? And you can come in and modify these lines. So you could pull this one up, you know, because it's a little higher, and I'll set it at 10 feet for right now. I think this one is also a little higher than where it ends right there. So you could pick it and kind of pull that up a little bit, you know, until you get it somewhere that makes sense. I mean, you can always go in and say, oh, that's annoying. 54 degrees I'd rather have. Um, 
And once you get that done, what it's going to do is it's going to take the roof that's currently selected and apply it to that. So if I hit check right now, it's going to take that generic 12 inch roof that was selected when I started and just pull it all the way across, right? So now I've got like this 12 inch roof sitting in there and it gives you these little shape handles and you can move the section back and forth, right? To wherever you want it. It's going to start on that plane, but I can always use the align command. So right here, align with the inside of this wall, the edge of that roof. All right, and it's doing some really funny things, like you see this right here, how it's cutting it at an angle. That's because of the way that the rafter cut is set. It's set to be vertical, and it thinks that is a rafter. So if you pick this, you can actually go, and um, it's set to plumb. So you could do um, square, and it'll actually square it off for you, which is kind of funny. Um, but what we want to do now is we actually don't want this roof to be 12 inches thick. We want it to be like a thin fabric roof. So I'm going to go to the edit type here on the roof while the roof is selected. And I'm going to duplicate this roof. And I'm going to rename it generic one inch fabric. All right. And I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to go to the structure and edit the structure. And I'm going to change the material, which is kind of weirdly column white right now. It probably should be something else. but um, So I'm going to change the material by selecting on the material right there. And then I'm going to type in fabric. So you, and I made a roof fabric material for you. Um, and we'll look at it a little more closely in class. Click OK and click OK. Oops, not yet. I want to set this to one inch instead of one foot. Click OK and click OK. And now I have like a transparent sort of fabric roof on there. Okay, so that's the first part. Um, the second half, I'm going to stop now and I'll come back and put the, uh, the roof that has the two walls that are not symmetrically offset.